ticks are collectively one of the most dangerous arthropods that can vector disease here in the United States. And the number of diseases and the number of incidents of those diseases are on the rise here in the U.S. So it's really important that we are aware of some of the diseases they spread and most importantly, how to avoid some of those issues altogether. All right, let's get down to it. So when we talk about ticks, there are uh, about a hundred or so different tick species that we can find across the U.S. and throughout North America. Now, when we talk about ticks as pests, we're not always talking about all 100 or so of those ticks. In fact, we're usually only talking about five different species. And the reason being is because not all ticks feed on all things. In fact, most ticks are highly species specific or host specific. So some ticks may only feed on reptiles. Some may only feed on birds. Well, there are five tick species that will readily feed on us and unfortunately also have the capacity to vector certain diseases. So when we talk about ticks as pests and those ticks that are medically relevant and concerning to us, we're talking about first and foremost is the black-legged tick. The black-legged tick also known as the deer tick. This is arguably one of the more concerning and potentially dangerous ticks that are out there because of its ability to vector Lyme disease. Now, I mentioned earlier that ticks are the fastest growing arthropod disease vectors. Well, Lyme disease is the fastest growing arthropod vector disease here in the United States. When we talk about around the world, mosquitoes usually are front of conversation for the most deadly arthropods or deadly insects. When we're in the United States and we're talking about what threats we have here, ticks are the number one vectors for disease that we deal with. And it's because of the black-legged tick and Lyme disease and the incidence rate of those. The distribution for black-legged ticks or deer ticks is primarily the eastern United States, but population density can be so incredibly high and we are actually smack dab in the middle of you know peak tick season right now. Ticks, unlike many other pests, um, don't really have an off season. They can be active as soon as temperatures start to creep up above freezing. So there really isn't a time of year where you can feel safe from potential exposure. General rule of thumb here is that if it feels good enough to go outside and go on a hike or something, it's gonna be good enough for ticks to be active. 